Okay, I got asked to uh, create a phone stand like this for someone. So I did and it came out pretty good and I thought this would be a fun project for you guys to do. And um, by doing this project with me, you'll get a chance to work with the mirror tool, uh, the sketch fillet, which is kind of like the fillet that we've used before and also a tool called the sweep. The sweep is a lot like an extrusion, but it follows a path that you determine for it. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna go to Onshape, and here's one that I just made, but I need to redo it. So I'm going to create a new document Okay, you can see I've already made a couple, but just to go through the process with you, let's create a document and let's title it Phone Stand. I'll call it three, so. And then create public document. Uh, right next to On Shape, is these three menu bars. Click on that and let's make sure that our workspace units are inches. Okay, that's what we need for this project. And then we're gonna start by designing the profile, the side view of the stand. And that's going to be our path. So we're going to start on the front plane this time. So we'll do a sketch and we'll use the line tool. And um, we're going to start at the origin, draw a line, make it four inches. Okay. And then we'll come up at an angle from there. And the angle, we're not going to worry about right now. We'll determine that later. So we'll also make this four inches. Okay. And then what we want to do is come down at an angle. Try not to snap to a right angle like that. Um, we'll come down at an angle and we will make that two point. 7.5, enter, okay. And now we do want to do a right angle. So we want to come out this way at a right angle and click and we'll make that 0 0.6, enter. And now we'll come up this way at a right angle and we will make that 0. Four. Enter. Okay. Now I'm going to hit escape and I'm going to get my dimension tool and I'm going to use my dimension tool to define this angle between these two lines that are connected by this point. If I click on this line and this line that are connected by this point, it lets me set this angle. So I click once and I type in 60 and it's going to make that 60 degrees. Okay, let me zoom out a little bit. Zoom back in here. Now I'll do the same thing up here. Click on that line. Click on that line. I'm going to set this angle 60 degrees. Enter. Now, I snap these ones to 90. I trust that these are 90, so I'm not going to mess with them. So I'll hit escape. And um, my drawing's kind of cluttered. I'm going to just get these off of here. Oops, let's see. Kind of get this stuff out of the way a little bit. That's fine. 
Uh, I think I'll just delete that one. Let's see. Delete that one. We don't need it. Okay. I'm going to get rid of this four too. I know the length. Okay. So now let's see. Oh, one more thing. So I told you we we're going to use a fillet tool, but unlike the other fillet tool we've used, this one's actually in your sketch. So I'm going to click on this tool and I'm going to click on this point here and it defaults to a quarter of an inch. But if I click my mouse one more time, it's going to let me set that radius and I'm going to make it 0 0.375, 3 eighths of an inch. And I'm going to do the same thing with this one. Now it defaults to the one I just did before. Okay. Now these, I want to give them a radius too, but I'm going to make it smaller. So I'm going to make it 0 0.125, one eighth of an inch. And I'll do the same thing with this one. Okay. And we should be good to go. So I am going to accept that sketch. Okay, so here is the path that we're going to extrude around. So now we've done this on the front plane. What I want to do is turn to my right plane. Okay, and now I'm going to do a sketch of a rectangle on my right plane. I'm going to start at the origin again. Oops, I don't have the tool. Get the corner rectangle tool. Start at the origin. Go out like this. 1.25. Enter. And then this measurement is going to be 0 0.125. Enter. Okay, now we're actually going to use the mirror tool. I want this to be the center of my rectangle. So I'm going to get this mirror tool right here, right there. And it's asking me select a line, a mirror line. So I want to reflect across this line. So now it's asking me select entities to mirror. So I'll pick all three of these lines that complete the rectangle and see how it filled it in on the other side. Okay. So now I'll escape from that tool and I'll get my trim tool, my scissors, and I'll just get rid of that line in the middle. Okay. And let's escape from that. And I'll get rid of that too. Okay. That's all we needed to do there. So now I'm going to click on here. And let's turn so we can see both of our sketches. So here's my rectangle that I'm going to extrude. And here's the path that I'm going to extrude it along. And when you follow a path to extrude like this around corners, it's called a sweep. So let's get our sweep tool. And I'm going to zoom in. And it's asking me for face of sketch region to sweep. So that's our rectangle. Now it wants to know our sweep path. So I click on that. And I'm going to start clicking on each section of my path. I have to get all those little corners that I made too. I can't sp skip any of them or it won't work. So I have to make sure I get that piece and then that piece and do them in order. Okay, so there's our basic shape. It's taking shape. Okay, so now on this face, we want a big hole for like 
the charging cable to go through. It doesn't have to be huge, but they're usually pretty big. So I, I clicked on this surface and I'm going to create a sketch plane on that surface. I'll turn towards the right. Okay, but I'm, I'm actually drawing on this surface that's angled. And I'm going to do a circle. And what I'm going to do is come and find the center point of that line. Find the center point of that line. Go across to the center till I find the center point. And I'm going to drag this circle out. I'm going to make it uh, 1.25. Enter. Okay. And that's it. I'll accept that sketch. Okay. Now let's click inside that circle. Hmm. There we go. And extrude it. It's going to be a remove. I'll make it a little less than one inch because I don't want to accidentally go through anything else. And let's accept that. Kind of hurrying because I'm going to run out of time. Now, we need to kind of get rid of some of this so that we can touch buttons at the bottom of our screen. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to click on this face here. And I'm going to make a sketch plane on that face. Mm, let's turn towards top. Okay. Now, I'm going to get the line tool. I'm going to draw a line straight across. Looks like a 90 degree angle. So that's good. And I'll come down here. I hit escape so I could get rid of my line. So I got a new one now. I'm going to come across here. Go straight across. Okay. Hit escape again. Now I'm going to get my dimension tool. I'm going to make that 0 0.25. Enter. Okay, let's make sure this is the same distance here. I'm using my dimension tool. Pretty close. 0 0.25, enter. Okay, let's accept that sketch. Now I'm going to click on this area in between those two lines. And I'm going to extrude it. And I've already, it's going to be a remove. And I've already calculated this. I want to remove um, 0 0.275. 0 0.275. Enter. Okay. And let's accept that. Okay. Now there's one more thing for you to do. And I'm going to leave you to do this on your own. So I really want you to take measurements of the end of the charging cable that you're going to use with the phone. And on here, I want on this surface here at the bottom of the little lip that holds your phone, you need to put a hole down here. So I want you to take measurements with the calipers, do a sketch on this face, and figure out where to put your hole in the center, obviously, and then how big to make it. I did a rectangular hole that just fit my charger snugly. So that's the last thing we're going to do in this video. One other thing you can do is add your name to this face here. And I'll talk to you guys about that in class.